Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how you can take your iPhone and hand it to a DOT officer and restrict their access to only the Keep Trucking app. Stay tuned, you're going to want to see this. <laughs> So this video is inspired by a live that Daniel, the high mileage helper, had on Sunday, which was yesterday. And there was a lot of discussion about what do you do your logs on? Do you use a kind of an older iPad or some kind of tablet? Or do you do it on your actual everyday phone? Or do you do it on a kind of a dummy phone so that when you get pulled over by the DOT, you can hand them this device and they can go through your logs. Now, when you hand the phone to the DOT, everything on your phone is open to them to look at. So they can look at your logs, but they can also then swipe up and then go look at your pictures, go look at your text messages, look at your emails, all that stuff. It's already been proven that that's legal for them to do. You have given them your device, it's unlocked, and they can look at whatever they want to look at. I got to thinking about that, and I didn't have time in the live to really get into it, but there is a way that on an iPhone that you can lock it so that all they have access to is whatever app you decide to give them access to. And in this case, it's Keep Trucking. I'm gonna show you how it works first, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it. There is a way you can do it on Android too, but I don't really know Androids. Uh, this is specifically for an iPhone. It will also work with any app. So if you have a specific app you want to let someone use, but you don't want them going through your phone, if you want to let them play a game or make a phone call or whatever it might be, maybe use a, like a Costco app or something like that, but you want to hand it to you, even just people that you know, you can hand them your phone and then they can't get out of that app. It locks them in that app and they can't get out to go into text message or emails or look at your pictures or anything like that. It works really great in a lot of different ways. So you're going to want to share this video to your Facebook groups, send it to your friends, parents. You can use it for, uh, for kids. You can give them your phone and then they just can't accidentally get out of the app that you give it to them and then delete stuff or whatever little kids do. Uh, but it works really good for all those things. So we're going to go through how it works and, and you'll see it live that it, you, that it does work. And then, uh, then I'll show you how to actually set it up on your phone. All right. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to open the keep trucking app. So let's say we got pulled over by the DOT and they want to see our logs. So we're going to open the keep trucking app. Ooh, well, you can't see it on that screen, but you'll be able to see it over here. So we're going to open the Keep Trucking app, and then you're going to, at the top left, you got three lines up there. You're going to click on that, and you're going to go to DOT Inspection Mode. This is what you do, even if you're going to have an iPad or give them your actual phone. It, this doesn't have anything to do with locking it. This is just how you give your phone to the DOT when they're going to inspect you. So then you press and hold the beginning in the begin inspection button and then it pops up a code so you punch in a code confirm your code and then it gives you the 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 screen that the inspector is going to see now the inspector can go back and it, he can oop, not that one the inspector can look at the different um days that are on here so you can click at the top and they can go through the days. You can see where I was driving, where I wasn't driving. And then I've been off for that day and I've been off for all this day. Now, at the top right, the three dots, they can send it or they can print it. They can send it via email or they can print. But if the DOT has your phone right now, they can swipe up from the bottom and get out of the app. And then they can go over here and they can go, oh, hey, look, here's Tim's pictures. Ooh, look at that. Or they can go and they can, they can go to text messages and go, oh, look, he's got text messages. So 
We don't want them to do that. We don't want them to have access to any of this. On this screen here, you can see I've got my credit union app and all that other stuff. So we want to restrict their access just to the Keep Trucking app. So now it's in inspection mode. Before I hand this to the DOT, I'm going to take and click. Let me get over here so you can so we can leave this open. And you're going to click the power button three times. So if I click the power button three times, one, two, three. Now you can see it says guided access started. So now if you look at the very bottom of the screen down here, there's no line there for, um, for swiping up. You can't swipe up. I can't get out of this app. All I can do is move through the days of my log. I can send and print. And if I click the little arrow at the top that's back, it wants the code to get out of inspection mode. So right now, there's nothing they can do. They can't swipe up, they can't swipe down. If they push the power button on the side, they can't even turn the screen off. You can see guided access is enabled. They can't change the volume. Pressing the volume button, can't change the volume. You can't do anything. If you triple click it, it will go back to the code to get out of guided access. And if they don't have that code, they can't get out of it. They can click cancel and they're still stuck in keep trucking. They can't get out of that until you take your phone back and then triple click the button on the side and then enter that code that you put in to begin with. And then we're back to this screen here where it says uh, end at the top left, guided access in the middle, and resume. You can also circle what you don't want them to interact with. We don't care what they interact with on this screen, though. They can interact with all those things. But if you didn't want them to be able to print it or send it, you could circle that. And then it would make it so they couldn't click it. But that's one of the things that they might want to do. They might want to send it or or uh, print it but we click end and then we're back to our uh, inspection mode and then we can click the back button there and then put our code in and then we're just back to our regular logs and now we can swipe up and get back to our stuff but it locks them into an app and it works with anything if i went into i don't know uh the weather channel. I can go into the weather channel, triple click the side, and it will go into guided access, click start, and now it's in guided access. Now it can't get out of the weather channel. It's locked there. Okay, so how do we set it up? Setting it up is pretty easy. You go to settings, then you scroll down to accessibility, Click on accessibility, then you scroll way down to the bottom, and where it says guided access, click guided access, and then at the top, you click. It'll it'll look like this when you first start. You click turn guided access on. Click on passcode settings. You can have it do face ID or a passcode. I chose to go with a passcode. So you click on the passcode, enter what your passcode, what you want your passcode to be. And then you're done. You can set a time limit. When there's time limits, you can set for sound or you can set it to speak a time limit. You have five minutes remaining, three minutes remaining. But the DOT is going to take as long as they're going to take. So you don't need to really set a time limit. Uh, display auto lock. Uh, you don't want it to automatically lock. You just want it to be on for as long as the officer needs your phone. So just leave it to never. And then you're done. You click back. Get out of settings. And no matter what app you're in, it will it'll auto lock that app. If I go into, I don't know, Google Maps. And then triple click. Guided access is started. Now I'm stuck in Google Maps and I cannot get out of Google Maps.
And that's it. It's pretty simple on an iPhone. Android has another way to do it, like I said, and I don't know how to do that, uh, but there is a way you can do it on an Android. But the iPhone is pretty bulletproof for, uh, for locking them down. And that guided access is the way to do it. So you don't have to worry about carrying another iPad or a fake phone or a burner phone or whatever or just a separate device. You don't have to worry about any of that. It's You just use your regular phone and use guided access to lock them out. There's been several times, and I know there's other people that have done it too, pull into a gas station or a truck stop and you get out to go get something to eat or go to the, go to the restroom or whatever. You grab your phone off the dash, you stick it in your pocket, and you start walking toward the thing. Then you realize, ah, oh, I forgot to take myself off driving and put it into on duty or off duty or whatever it might be. I've done it myself. And then you turn around, the truck's way out there. You got to walk all the way back there, grab the iPad, and change the duty status. Y'all, almost always, I mean, everybody has their phone on them. I, I grab it and throw it in my pocket whenever I'm going from the truck to the truck stop or whatever. So you're going to have your phone with you anyway. I find it's the easiest way to do logging because it's right there on the dash. I just go bing, 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 and away I go. So I hope that you liked this video and you got something out of it. It is an easy way to lock your phone down for a DOT inspection. DOT inspections aren't any big deal. And there's really nothing on my phone that I'm trying to hide from any officers. But I still don't want them going through my pictures and my emails and my text messages or whatever. So it is a way to lock it down. And there seems to be a lot of confusion about how to do it. And people bringing multiple devices with them on the road to give the DOT officer that device. So if you got something good out of this, click the like button. Sub subscribe to the channel. It'll really help us out. And as always, have safe travels, and I hope to see you on the road.